for this problem, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to find the x-intercepts and the y-intercepts. So a couple things you guys need to remember uh, from linear equations is your x-intercepts are when a graph crosses the y-axis, correct? So therefore, our, uh, our, I'm sorry, <laughs> x-intercepts. x-intercepts is when it crosses the x-axis. So therefore, y is equal to 0. All right. Now, since we're dealing with the function, we've had our g of x represent our y values. So if I'm going to say y is equal to 0, I'm going to say 0 is equal. Because remember, 0 and g of x are kind of the same thing. They're both output values. Equals 4 times x plus 1 divided by x times x minus 4. So I need to find out for what values of x um, equal make this 0. Well, a lot of students forget that if I said 3 equals x over 4, how do you get rid of the 4? How do you solve for x? Well, you have to undo division of 4, right? So I'd have to multiply by 4 on both sides. And when you do that, those 4s cancel out, and you're left with 12 equals x. The exact same thing is going to be true when you're solving for this. I need to get this off the bottom. So to get rid of it, I'm going to have to multiply x times x minus 4. Now, of course, yes, you could use the steward property and do all this stuff, but you don't really need to right now. You just need to make sure you're multiplying by x minus 4 on both sides. Okay? That's now going to cancel out, and that's going to become 0. So I'm left with 0 equals 4 times x plus 1. All right? And I can still do the distributive property, but you're still going to get uh, the exact same answer anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Here, I can undo division of or multiplication of 4 by dividing by 4. That becomes 0 equals x plus 1. Subtract 1, x equals negative 1. That means the x-intercept, this graph crosses at negative 1. All right? Now, to find the y-intercept, x equals 0. So then you just plug a 0 in for all the x's. So I'd say my g of x function equals 4 times 0 plus 1 all over 0 times 0 minus 4. And what we'll notice here is we're going to get 0 on the bottom. We're going to get 4 over 0. So therefore, we can't divide by 0, right? So there does not exist a y-intercept. So this graph does not cross the y-intercept. So my x-intercept occurs at the point of negative 1, comma, 0. That's my x-intercept. And my y-intercept does not exist. Not available, I'll just kind of do a quick little rinse. All right? So that's how you guys find the x and y intercepts. For a y intercept, you plug 0 in for x. For the x intercept, you plug a 0 in for your y or your output value, f of x. Make sense? All right. For then, um, then for the next thing we need to do is we need to figure out what the vertical and horizontal asymptotes are. So to find the vertical, what we need to do is we need to set the bottom equal to 0. So you can say x times x minus 4 is equal to 0. So I can divide by x. x minus 4 equals 0. Add 4 x equals 4. So what that means is on this vertical um, this vertical asymptote, my graph is never going to cross or touch when x equals 4. All right? It's never going to cross or touch the y-intercept. 
and it's never going to touch the graph at when x is equal to 4. Then, to find the horizontal asymptote, what we need to do is we need to look at the degrees of our top and our bottom polynomial. Well, here, I don't really have this written as a polynomial, so I'm going to use distributive properties so I can see exactly what the degrees are, or what the degrees are. So when I do that, when I distribute this, I get 4x plus 4 all over x squared minus 4x. So remember, when finding the horizontal asymptote, you need to look at the degrees of your leap or your degrees of each polynomial. Well, this is actually going to have a 1 in front of there. So since my larger de my degree on my numerator is smaller than my degree in my numerator, my horizontal asymptote is going to equal 0. Yes? I have a question for the vertical. Um, so when you made x, x minus 4 equals 0, wouldn't you? Uh, Like, couldn't you just take the whole equation? It's like x in parentheses, x minus four equals zero, and then like just solve it from there. Where like x equals positive four, and x equals zero. Oh, I have to. I have to be able to go and see what you're. Try to see what you're saying. Don't